Hi, how's it going, guys? We're here talking some Penn State football. John Lovett, Baylor running back, has now transferred to Penn State. Um, just adding to a already really good running back room right now. And this is, I think, a very good thing for Penn State because he's not just some guy who hasn't done much in his college career is looking to um, maybe add a spark and transfer. Like he's he's a guy that's had a lot of production in his history. He didn't do as well in 2020. Only played in five games, started every single one of them, but didn't do as well as what he did in 2018 and 2019. And um, I think that that's okay. I think that you know he's a he's a proven guy. Just because he wasn't that great last year doesn't mean he's going to be um, the same thing next year. I think that he's a guy that come in right away and get playing time. Um, we'll have to compete though, because Noah Kane, Kevon Lee, Devin Ford, Keziah Holmes, all those guys. Very capable running backs, and um, I, I love our running back room. I think uh, you can never have enough depth at running back. Journey Brown, Noah Kane going down, I think showed that. And um, getting Noah Kane back next year, plus this guy, is gonna are is gonna add greatly to an already good position for Penn State. Um, it just shows kind of how well we've done at the running back position that a guy who has been productive throughout his career wants to come to Penn State and be a running back for Penn State. I think that's pretty special. And um, it just adds to the offense. I don't know exactly how good this offense is going to be next year. Um, you would think there would be a good running team with uh, everybody back at running back and um, adding at Noah Kane. And then on the O-line, hopefully we get most people back. You would think they would have a really good running game. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, the passing game will be interesting. Hopefully um, the receivers continue to develop and uh, do well for us. And Clifford, I think, will be very important for how this offense does. And But, you know, a good running game always sets up a good passing game. And if you can run the ball effectively, which is no excuse for if we can't do next year with all the talent we have at running back and even on the O-line, uh, and experience on each on each uh, spot. I don't I don't understand why we cannot run the ball next year. And, you know we had some good moments this past season running the ball, but it wasn't exactly a, um, a huge strength. We had success, but it wasn't something that you would have liked to see. Um, you would have liked to see a little bit better. And hopefully next year they'll just be able to dominate teams or at least teams that they have a talent advantage over. Um, you know, against when they play Ohio State and, you know, maybe Auburn, they'll be um, about a talent equality up front. But I would say that against teams like Maryland and other teams that haven't recruited as well as we have the last couple of years, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to dominate teams up front and at the running back position. All right, well, thank you guys. We're covering more Penn State news this offseason. We are Penn State.